Right, hello guys, this is Oxman. I'm going to bring you yet another video of Armour 2 editing. So this is how you do the UAV. Basically I've done a MQ-9 flying, a UAV module, a UAV terminal pack, it can be found in backpacks, and it's only available for Ar Armour 2 Operation Arrowhead. So what you need is a hub, this is the hub, and this is what you need to click to actually use the uh, drone. And of course you need the drone and the UV module. Um, there needs to be at least one player connected to the UV uh, module. If you do more, I think you could do more players so they can use the UV terminal as well. Anyway, I'm gonna start and show you this. Um, right, so it's up in the air. Hopefully it won't crash. Right, I'll move up to the UAV terminal. Right, you see a UAV in the stuff. And I can't even pick this up, but anyway. Right, so all you need to do is click around and it gets these new waypoints. And I think they added in Operation Arrowhead, if you leave the mouse still for a moment, it locks on. So right now it's locking on there. And what I need to do is press Q. Right now I'm pressing Q, you just have to do it about two, three times and you get, you don't have to hold it in or something, anything. You just do it once and it, it automatically goes up in the air. So, basically up, down, up, Q, down, Z. And that's all you need. And uh, you can press N for night vision, uh, or thermal imaging. And you see me. It's a bit hard to control this on close range but when you're a thousand meters ASL you you do have a nice view of the target and you are able to find different stuff anyway it's gonna be a short video and this is how you do it you can use the same thing uh, with the ULB but then you only have to synchronize two things and that's the, uh, the hub and the ULB to a ULB module so it's not the same module and but it can also serve as a UAV. I'm going to show you that in a second. Right, so this is the ULB. ULB module, synchronized with the ULB. ULB stands for Unmanned Little Bird, and the uh, Blue 4 version is the um, AH-6X, and for OP-4 it is the, uh, um, let's see, it should be a small, ugly plane, Pshala 1T. <laughs> So um, that's all you need. You have to synchronize with two things, the terminal and the unit. And of course have the module. So right, I'm going to show you how this works. Take UAV uh, terminal. Right, I have it on me. You will be. Right, here we have it. So I'm going to move it into position. I'm going to go low and uh, get some. Anyway, uh, you press F, you change weapons as you do in you know, normal, and you have, just have to shoot. So right now I'm going to engage that target. Put on your thermals, just because it's cool. And um, get fire at will. And yeah, it gives um, a lot of blinking. That's the only annoying thing about it. And it does not for the normal side, so it's so, okay. Right, so this is how it works. Hope it helped you understand how UV and UOB works. UOB is mainly used for Apaches, but I tend to use them for uh, more stable uh, recon because the UAV moves fast and moves a lot, so you can't really fixate on a, a detailed target and um, you know be accurate without you know being <laughs> irritated at how hard it is to get it. Anyway, I um, hope it helped. So like favorite please um, it helps me a lot and please subscribe to my channel I'll be uploading more editing videos if you need help with artillery you know anything just comment down below and I'll respond to you within the day um, and um, yeah that's basically it. Um, thanks for me Oxman up